Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert of Gilbert's Pro Hardware and MrHardware.com. I'm here today to talk about a plant and many furnaces called the condensate removal pump. All of our more modern furnaces these days, as they burn, they generate water. Uh, a lot of us have humidifiers on our furnaces, and many of them have drains, and they generate water. And then, in the summertime, we have our air conditioning running, and that generates water. So, when our furnace is installed in our house, and we're lucky enough to have a floor drain nearby, all these condensates will flow into the floor drain. It's all good. It's gone. For those of us that the floor drain happens to be too far away, or in a walkway where I can't have these drain pipes on the floor, or I just plain don't have one, what we have on these furnaces are condensate removal pumps. These are like little miniature sump pumps. And what happens is, is your furnace drain may come into the condensate pump. Your air conditioner and your humidifier, so there's three knockouts on this unit that we can, we can take and put drain lines into any of these three we want. Now, this pump is usually mounted by proximity down low on the furnace. And it's got a 110 volt plug that plugs in continuous power. So it's simply just plugged in the wall. It runs automatically. So as water takes and accumulates into this tank, after it gets so full, a float switch kicks on and it pumps the water back out of this 3 8 ID flexible vinyl tubing. We can then take this tubing and we can run it over across our basement to our laundry tub. Uh, possibly if our zoning allows it, we can pump it right outside. So as our furnace creates water, unfortunately I hate to be handling water that could be going by gravity to a floor drain, but if there is no floor drain nearby, your next best bet is a condensate pump. And all you need to know is it's a little miniature sump pump. At any time you can take and lift up one of these plugs, pour a little bit of water in here until you hear it kick on. And when you pour the water in, the float will kick on and it will pump water out. And it's a very easy test just to make sure that your unit's still working.